Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to create address list for Active DHCP clients. So the way I'm showing you is that the DHCP server will automatically create these address lists. Usually persons are used to going into IP, firewall and address list and then create an address list. But what I'm going to show you is a more dynamic way of creating those address lists based on active DHCP clients. So let me go to IP DHCP server. And right now there's only one client connected. So the first thing that you need to do is go to leases, identify a client, double click on that client, and then click on make static. So you have to make that IP static. Click OK. Then double click back on the client. And now you will be you will now have access to more options. So the options that option that we are interested in is this one that says address list. So say for instance the person who is connecting um, to this device, say for instance, this is um, say PCs or Say computers and we want to create an address list for a set of persons who are using computers so what you could do is to static each address for that person or that device and then you can put back the same name for the address list so if so for each user you're going to give it the same name so we're just going to use computers click apply click OK and right away the address list is created for that user so if the if if you had multiple users it will automatically create those address lists for you the good thing about this is that you'll be able now to use this address list to do firewall filter rules so if I go to add and say for instance I'm going to create a rule in the source address list or destination address list I'm able now to choose that address list and do something with it so if I want to um, drop block, block traffic for this user if I want to fast track connection whatever you want to do but this is just a, a easy way of um, administer, administering certain features on particular users without even constantly at, have to remember what the address is for the user. So as long as you set the address to static, every time the user logs on to, the, to, to your router or to your Wi-Fi, they will get back that same address and the system will automatically create an address list for that person based on what you have already set. You can use it in Mandalay rules also. So if you want to say, for instance, um, I'm on the rule and, rule and we use a forward chain and we say, well, all right, any downloads for this user, we are going to say, for instance, mark the connection and say, for instance, we call this um, PC connection and say, for instance, we are marking connection for that user. Now, we are seeing the traffic that is passing through for that user. So if that user was supposed to go on and start downloading, you see the traffic flowing through. So you can go on and build in rules based on, based on the address list. That's a quick tip on creating address lists for Active DHCP clients. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. And also click on the notification bell to get notified when new videos are released. So thanks for watching.